Welcome to my face. I'm James St. James and this is Transformations. <clears throat> Ready? One second, please. Very excited today. I'm here with our Lady of the Needles, Sharon Darling. Well, you had uh, a disaster the other night. You were wearing some very expensive earrings. I had a severe allergic reaction. If, if any metal, if any cheap metal touches your face, your skin. Correct, you correct. You break out. Now, now this is why I don't believe in a god. A god would not make a heavy metal chick that can't wear heavy metal, so. <laughs> so now today, what are we gonna do? We aren't gonna do anything spooky. A lot of people just want me to create a, you know, a very gothic horror inspired look. That, so when they told me you were coming on, I thought, oh God, it's gonna be, you know, monster drag. Uh, I'm just gonna let you know right now so you don't get worried. We will not be using the uh, black liquid glycerin that the infamous Boom Boom <laughs> used on you because we all sell, saw how well that worked out. I'm still in pain. <laughs> I still cannot wipe my ass with this hand. Today we are going to make you into one of America's most political 80s monsters. My favorite 80s monster, Miss Tammy Faye Baker. And I know her last name is Mesner, but it's ba I, I, She will I, always be Baker to, be to Tammy us. Faye Baker to me. I used to watch her when I was a kid instead of watching Saturday morning cartoons. She was I, a didn't, cartoon. I didn't even know she was selling Christianity. I just thought we were all having a good time. And the great thing about a Tammy Faye uh, look, and a big reason of why I'm doing it today, is because you can't fuck it up. All right, so first we're just gonna be uh, doing your foundation, of course. I, if anyone would have told me that I'd be fingering James <laughs> a couple years ago, you would have had to slap me twice. <laughs> Did you ever meet Tammy Faye? No. I was never once introduced to her. Well, I think it's because everyone at World of Wonder got sober. Okay, second step is we're gonna do your contouring, cut out those nice rounded Tammy cheeks, and you know, all that drag nonsense of putting a brown circle around absolutely everything because that's what women look like. This is a May Ron uh, grease paint foundation. I found it in a. It looks like old school. Yeah, dragon. I found this in Alaska's purse without a lid. I can't guarantee uh, you, your face will survive this product. <laughs> Everyone says is, how it, fun you are to paint. It really is. There's nothing there. You're you like Sheldon from Garfield and Friends. You remember him? He was just an egg with legs. <laughs> And how did you do that? So just make circles around everything. That's the secret women aren't telling us. Before they leave the house, a brown, orangish terracotta circle <laughs> has to go on everything, and white stripes <laughs> have to follow. So right here, see this domey thing we're doing? Yeah. This is called the beige rainbow. Matthew will say that he did not invent this. Possibly he did not invent it, but he revolutionized it. Every drag queen who comes on this show and, and does this, and I always say, what the hell is it? What, what are you doing? We're making you pretty. Matthew says all drag queens wear way too much powder, and I love that. Yes, you did. You said drag queens wear too much powder. We, I should point out that Matthew is right behind the camera right here. So she's not talking to a wall. I like to use these cooler colors because they cut, I think it makes it look a little more real. And then on top of that, I'll be putting a warming um, agent. You were saying that you know every single line to... The eyes of Tammy Faye, yeah. yes. I had enough Ativan in me to kill a large truck driver. You know, I, I like the cameras. It's someone to talk to. I really respond. Or uh, maybe a show, kid show with poppets. Everyone loves poppets. Now I'm just adding clown white under here because all women have huge white bars <laughs> underneath their eyes. And you could wear this out in the sun. No one would ever suspect no this. Yeah. That, that this uh -huh. was uh, just a ton of sidewalk chalk under your eyes. It's like an apricot it's or a something. Sammy. It's just a color. Sam yeah, right. okay. we don't really care at this point. I'm afraid I'm making you too pretty. Uh, I'm using uh, my favorite lip liner in the world, world uh, Night Moth by Mass. It's, Night Moth it's by Mass. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah. It's the color of this. Oh, and I have a feeling that when we the lips come on, we're gonna see Tammy. We're gonna right? see Tammy. Yes. We're gonna okay. see her. Well, because right now it looks like a, like a dirty Sanchez, doesn't it? Well, like I've just been felching someone. Sure. You know, you can't help a dirty Sanchez. It happens. My thing is, is why do hotels always have white sheets? Me and Alaska have brown sheets. 
A great thing about this is if you put the lipstick outside of your natural lip line, yeah. you're gonna have uh, this red stain for a couple of days. Okay. I always love beauty and flaw. I think I say that because there's always something messed up and I need an excuse. Now it's time for the most important uh, signature look of Tammy. What is that? Eyelashes. Lashes. Oh my god. Yes. Wait, wait, so say this over again. So start with the news. This, this is one of our best pro tips I've ever heard. A lot of people use those mixing mediums which is like a liquid that you mix with powdered eyeshadow to get okay, it. So these some people lick their brush, some yeah. people use water. I use PBR, I use beer. Now, could you actually produce some real tears for me to get that to run? Um, Michael's being released tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>